Big Kitchen YouTube channel, Vidaya. Today I'm going to show you how to do stewed lamb chops. Yes, that's all. Okay, so we have one kg of lamb chops there. Five tablespoons of all-purpose exotic, no, tropical seasoning, tropical seasoning. Five tablespoons of brown sugar. Mint, fresh mint. One scotch bonnet. Around an inch of ginger. Four garlic cloves. Two peppers. Colour of your choice. Ten cherry tomatoes one red onion one white onion and swing onion and then two potatoes which I'll be cutting shortly okay so how do we start it we will first Season the lamb chops with the tropical seasoning. Like so. So season it until the whole all of the meat is covered. So that is, that's good enough for me. So it's around three to four tablespoons of that. Tropical, all purpose seasoning. Done! Okay, so then, I've warmed up the pan and now I'm gonna caramelize the brown sugar. Turn up the heat. of the brown sugar by the looks of it there's not enough there so I'm gonna add to it cover it up so make sure you're keeping your eye on this as give it another 30 seconds it'll start burning you don't want it to burn too much there we go if you can hit the share button subscribe to the Caribbean Kitchen channel it will be appreciated in the comment section let us know what you think of the video so then now, we are going to add soy sauce, the jerk sauce, and the tomato sauce. Yeah. So two to three tablespoons of jerk sauce and three to four tablespoons of tomato sauce and we go and now time for the lamb chops we're going to brown them off just turn down my heat and turn it back up a little bit dash them in Separate them so they're all flat in the pan. So as I didn't say already, there's one kg of lamb chops there. You could do it with mutton chops also. Let me know in the comment section if you've cooked this dish before and if you have done it with mutton chops, let me know. 
Okay, so I'm going to cut those off for around two to three minutes, brown them off, and then I'm going to flip them over again, brown them off, and then I will add the vegetables. We'll be back. Bless them. And we're back. Okay, ready again. So we have sealed the lamb chops, stewed them up, and then now they are ready for ginger, garlic, mint, and the scotch bonnet. Done in. So as you can see, we've browned off the lamb chops. And adding the red onion, red onion, yeah, red onion. <laughs> Spring onion and white onion. See that? And then two peppers. Colours of your choice. And the tan cherry tomatoes. Mix that up. Once you start to see it going a little bit dry, you don't want it sticking to the pan, so we add a splash of water. and let that cook for 20 minutes or so we'll be back unfortunately one ingredient slipped my mind so if you've watched it this far you will get the full recipe and it's pimento so there you go and it's looking good to eat Rich gravy. If you want to add a little bit more water, so you have a little bit more gravy. Go ahead. So then now it is tasting time. Mmm! It's very, very nice. Very nice. So then now, what we're going to do our proper plate with some rice and peas that are ready to go. Shoot! Shoot the pot camera, girl! Lovely, lovely. Knock off the flame. like to cook the rice and peas we'll have a video either on now or about to come up thank you for tuning in bless up <laughs>